carbohydrate digestion of monosaccharides concludes in microvilli of the small intestine. Four brush border enzymes are involved. Alpha dextrinase breaks down alpha dextrins by clipping off one glucose unit at a time. Sucrase breaks sucrose into molecules of glucose and fructose. Maltase breaks maltose and maltotriose into two or three molecules of glucose, respectively. Lactase breaks lactose into molecules of glucose and galactose. Carbohydrate digestion ultimately produces glucose, fructose, and galactose as end products. All end products of carbohydrate digestion are absorbed as monosaccharides. Absorption of nutrients ultimately takes place in the capillaries of the villi. Fructose, a monosaccharide found in fruits, is absorbed by facilitated diffusion. Diffusion first takes place between the lumen and the epithelial cells of villi. Monosaccharides in an epithelial cell then diffuse through the cell's basolateral surface into the interstitial fluid. The monosaccharide eventually diffuses into the bloodstream. The process does not require ATP. Glucose and galactose are absorbed into epithelial cells by secondary active transport. The transport of either substance is coupled with active transport of sodium ions, two sodium ions for each glucose or galactose molecule. The ions and molecules move in the same direction, down the concentration gradient for at least one of the transported substances. From the epithelial cells, the glucose and galactose are transported into the interstitial fluid and eventually into the blood via facilitated diffusion.